Hello! Hi! It's finally here, guys. Jessica Jung's newest book, The Sequel to Shine, Bright. And I have read it. Mm -hmm. If you weren't around for my Shine series that I did on the channel, I'm going to do the same thing where this video is going to be the spoiler-free review of the book. Spoiler free because really there's not much to spoil because this is this literally happened. This is a real story. Real. It's it's fake but it's real. Later I will put out the much longer video going through everything that happens in the book. It's gonna be very long but it'll be faster to watch that video than to read the book. So look for that. It's gonna be a while but it is coming. I promise. Right. First thing you're going to do when you get this book is take off the cover and you're going to flip it. Way better cover. And it goes with the original book. Why did they? I don't. Whatever. But then you're just going to take it off anyway. This is just annoying to deal with. But I'm going to put it back on because look how, look how, Jessica, <laughs> to get it out of the way, I am not biased for or against Jessica. This drama happened way before I joined K-pop, so I do not care about if she left, if she got kicked out. I do not care. I'm here for an entertaining story. So let's talk about that. It's not that great of a book. I really didn't like it that much. <laughs> a bit of a refresher of the first book. Shine is pre-debut Jessica. Which, by Jessica, I mean Rachel. <laughs> Rachel is the character in the book. I often refer to her as Jessica because she is literally Jessica. It's not subtle. Especially in Bright, which takes place five years later. So Jessica in this story just gets, like, everything that she really wants. <laughs> She's getting this album with her sister. They have a reality show together. She gets to start her own fashion brand, which, like, everyone's really jealous of. And is shocked that she's able to do this because they got denied opportunities all the time. But it's like, oh, well, Jessica gets it. You know, there's just a lot of cattiness and all of that. And I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's something like you have to read it to just kind of understand how, like, annoying Rachel kind of is. It's hard to, like, even do, like, a spoiler-free version of this because, like, there's not much to spoil. It's literally what happened. <laughs> And to be honest, it's really not that enjoyable of a story to read. Shine, you know, not the greatest book I ever read, but it's still just very enjoyable. You know, it's your classic YA. You know, there's a clear villain in the story, which is Mina. You have your love interest, Jason. And there's twists and turns to it that, like, it actually has a plot to it that's entertaining. You know, you have your classic, you know... You know what I'm talking about? Remember from school? The little mountain thing? <laughs> it makes sense as a story. Bright. No. <laughs> it's not that entertaining. It's only entertaining because we know the story of her life and there's tea. But like, it's just not a fun read. So just first starting off, there's no like main villain, no main antagonist. Unless you really want to count DB Entertainment, which is this world to SM Entertainment, or if you want to count the members of Girls Forever, which is this universe's Girls Generation. But to be honest, they're really not that villainous. Like, I can understand their decisions or their disliking of her. She kind of sucks. And, you know, I guess in the group itself, there are the trio of Mean Girls with Mina, Lizzie, and Unji. But even then, like, yeah, they're mean. But at points in the story, she has moments of trying to be, like, understanding with them. Or she has something that, like, connects, like, with each of them. And I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But because of this whole real-world tie-in... It really does kind of feel like Jessica trying to just seem nice of like, you know, yeah, they were really mean to me, but like, I'm trying to be nice and understanding. 
and I realize I sound a little bit catty saying that, but it just, it, it's weird. It's just really weird. Just let them be mean. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's more entertaining of a story. And I said this in the review of Shine. I'll say it again here. The girls really don't feel like these one-to-one -one comparisons to the different members of Girls' Generation. It's probably more so like different traits of each kind of going to the different girls. Like, it's not like, oh, Mina's Taeyeon. Like, it's not quite like that. There's definitely girls that were nicer to her, and then there's the three that were really mean to her. But, I, like I said, I really don't care about that part of it. We gotta talk about the love interest, Tyler Kwan, which is not his name in the book. <laughs> Tyler Kwan is the real person. In the book, his name is Alex. So, Although I might not be biased against Jessica, which you may not believe after <laughs> you know what I've said in this video, I don't like Tyler Kwan. I couldn't tell you exactly why I don't. That is my cat. <laughs> he is friends or might be a was. He was, is whatever, friends with Sungri from Big Bang. There's just something, you know, if you're friends with Sungri. <laughs> ah, rubs me the wrong way. Also, just being a business investor. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's just not a guy I like. Separating that from the character in the book, Alex is just so boring of a character. <laughs> I just wanted Jason back. This is another, you know, weakness of this just being her life story. Normally in a YA kind of novel, the second book brings in the second love interest and you have some kind of love triangle. And I love me a good love triangle. We don't get that here. There's no love triangle. There's no drama. It's just, here's a new guy, and they're in love. Cool. Jason from the first book is in this story, but it is established very early on that they are just friends. He is seeing someone else. They tried to date after the first book. It wasn't working because of their schedules, and yeah. But I swear to God, every time Jason came back in this story, I just got so happy and I wanted them to be together. Because I frankly do not care about your life, Jessica. <laughs> I just want a good book. And this Alex storyline's just not that good. He's just some guy that she meets through a friend. They got the hots for each other. And he's like this perfect supportive boyfriend and it's long distance and they have to keep it a secret but oh man even when they get found out there's really no consequences for them even though all the other girls when their relationships get exposed they have to, like you know to break up or do all this other stuff but not for Rachel she gets everything that she wants <laughs> and it's a really just annoying trait of a main character she has just major main character syndrome in this book it's just frankly very annoying especially when you have all the other characters being like it's really annoying that this keeps happening to you and she's just like yeah I know but like what can I do about it why am I supporting this character why do I care if her fashion like brand excels and yeah that's okay that's I guess we have to talk about that that's the story that is the plot she starts a fashion brand and everyone hates her for it because it takes up a lot of time and I guess I shouldn't spoil too much because I said spoiler free, but if you know the story, you know the story. The book is all first person, so it's all her perspective of everything, which adds to just a lot of like missing details and just her being really annoying. <laughs> like there's definitely things that never get like tied up. You know, her bag that got m missing or her book that got destroyed. We have no idea what happened to those things, which is just not entertaining. <laughs> like, it's just not as fulfilling. I want to know what happened. I can't even remember. Was there any resolution to the album her and Crystal, Leia, were recording or the reality show? They, like, started that stuff and then, like, never finished it. Oh, also, there's a lot of just accusations as well in this. Like, Jessica, I guess, accusing um, of, like, plagiarism of songs uh, that I guess she wrote that you know were used I mean it happens in the book doesn't necessarily happen in real life but it's like okay there's a lot more tea in all of this a lot more parallels to kind of real world stuff that happened 
It's really just her telling her story, I guess. And it's really not that entertaining of a story. What can I say? Like, the ending to this just feels like, cool. Yep, that's the end. The whole story, it's like just the same thing happening over and over and over and over and over again. And then it just kind of builds up and then it's over. Right. It's not a good story. <laughs> like, honestly, you really read it for the tea. I can't imagine any non-K-pop person reading this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what more I can really say. Overall, Shine, I'll give that a thumbs up. That was fun. Right? <laughs> I, I didn't like it. You know, I'll read not good stuff. You know, I don't care if it's, you know, fan fiction-y feeling or whatever, Wattpad. I don't care. If it's entertaining, I'll have fun with it. This just wasn't entertaining. And, you know, I would have loved to have gotten, like, a fun love story in this, but it's just not there. It's really not. It's all about her stupid fashion brand, which I just don't care about. <laughs> then her love story with this guy that she can really only text, and they're just, like, not likable. They're very annoying in the way they talk to each other. That I just, like, don't care at all. I like Jason. I miss Jason. Jason was a good guy. She should have stuck with Jason. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. Yep, that's my review. Uh, <laughs> feel very harsh about it, but I'm quite upset that it really wasn't that fun to read. I thought Shine was way better, way more entertaining, though this had more tea. I just frankly wanted a fun story, and I felt like I didn't get that. So, hmm. Let me know if you read it. What were your thoughts on if you liked it or not? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Is there anything I didn't say that you wish I had said? Because honestly, I didn't really script this that much. I'm kind of just talking out of I just finished reading this and I needed to film this video. <laughs> like I said, if you want the more in-depth story, that video will come eventually. It's going to take me a long time to edit and film not in that order it will come but that is all i have to say thank you so much for watching have a lovely time of day wherever whenever you are ah goodbye